Hello, I'm Paul Weston. Now, why isn't Pfizer CEO Albert Burla in prison? And I ask, um, because of this. The CFTC and FDA investigation into safety, potential safety issues surrounding stroke for elderly people who have gotten the booster. What, what do you know about that? No, I think what the CDC said was that uh, they saw a signal in one small database and as a result they triggered a very comprehensive review of all databases in existence and they discover nothing. Same is with us. Uh, we were alerted that they found that. We'll do it. Our own investigation in all databases in Europe, Israel and the US and we found in none of them anything. None of them. So are, of are you them. continuing anything. to look into safety issues? People wonder if it makes me people more vulnerable to cardiac arrest. You've, arrest, you've, you've seen all the you know, some conspiracies and some, you know, valid... Yeah, irrelevant from conspiracy or not, we have a team that constantly does this. They are collaborating with major scientific institutions and they are doing, with them and alone ourselves, digging into databases. And we constantly review and analyze data. We have seen not a single signal, although we have distributed billions of doses. Now, bear in mind, this was filmed in January 2023, which makes Bula a liar of murderous proportions. All of the databases were screaming death, maiming and permanent disabilities uh, by this date, yet Bula claimed that the CDC and Pfizer could find no signals of vaccine harm, none, zero. And the, the scale of his lie would have made Goebbels proud. And in reality, of course, Bula knew full well about the horror show surrounding his mRNA potion and Pfizer documents released under a court order in May 2021 show categorically that Burla must have been aware of the huge increases in adverse side effects after just over a bare two months of the mRNA vaccine rollout. Quote, Pfizer has also taken multiple actions to help alleviate the large increase of adverse events reports. The adverse events consisted of over 42,000 cases, uh, out of which a disproportionate number were female, uh, 29,914. And age was also disproportionate, with the largest majority uh, coming within the 30 to 50 year old demographic and the adverse side effects were not trivial for example there were almost 26,000 nervous system disorders uh, 17,000 musculoskeletal and connective tissue disorders almost 15,000 gastrointestinal disorders and nearly 9,000 skin and subcutaneous tissue disorders and almost 9,000 respiratory and thoracic disorders and there were also also 1,223 deaths. These figures are as shocking as they are astonishing and it should be noted they all occurred before the end of February 2021. The vaccine rollout only started in late December 2020 so it's just two months of data really. Uh, you know if that Burla should be in prison but that's just my opinion. But given the facts as laid out in this video though one wonders why he hasn't been arrested on charges of culpable homicide and crimes against humanity. And perhaps if our politicians were not all bought and paid for, um, he would be. Let me be unequivocal from this dispatch box that COVID vaccines are safe. Mr. My book, uh, COVID-19, All Crime, All Lies, can be unfortunately bought only from Amazon, but uh, the link's in the description box below. I've also signed up for Buy Me A Coffee if people would like to uh, help support me that way. Okay, that's it. I'm off.